GLONASSM Russian GLONASSM also known as Urigan M Russian Urigan M Grau Index 11F654M given to the first two pilot satellites and 14F113 to the rest are the second generation of Urigan satellite design used as part of the Russian GLONASS radio based satellite navigation system Developed by ISS Reshetnev, Reshetnev Information Satellite Systems, it had its debut launch in 2003, and is in the process of being phased out. Its production is expected to finish in 2015 and as of July, 2015, its last launch was expected in late 2017. It is an evolution of the previous Urigan Grau Index 11F654 second generation satellites, improving accuracy, increasing power, extending the design life and adding the FDMAL20F open signal. The last eight GLONASS M spacecraft in production include the new CDMAL30C open signal. Topic Design It used a three-axis stabilized pressurized bus with two solar panels, a propulsion module and a payload module. At 1,415 kg these are just 2 kg heavier than the previous generation, but have 25% more power 1250W, 230% more design life 7 years, an additional signal L20F and generally improved accuracy. It uses an onboard computer based on a Russian microprocessor re-implementation of the VAX 11750th architecture, the Angstrom K1839. The Urigan M are usually launched in trios, and due to the close distance, the radios of the three would interfere with each other, meaning that the ground segment can only command one satellite at a time. Setting sun pointing attitude for power and then earth pointing attitude for communications for a single unit takes about five hours. Since the radio contact window with ground control is between four and six hours, ground control can not control all spacecrafts in a single pass. The onboard computer in the Urigan M can put the spacecraft in sun pointing mode autonomously, and does many of the start up processes so the ground segment can take control and process the Earth pointing mode. The payload consists of L band navigation signals in 25 channels separated by 0.5625 MHz intervals in two frequency bands 1602.5625 to 1615.5 MHz and 1240-1260 MHz. EIRP 25-27 dBW. Right-hand circular polarized. It transmits the FDMA signals L10F, L1SF, L20F and L2SF, with the open L20F being new to the Urigan series. It uses three C's clocks with a clock stability of 1 by 10 minus 13 and 5x improvement over the 5 by 10 minus 13 clock stability of the previous generation Urigan. In 2011, ISS Reshetnev announced plans to include the new CDMA signal L30C, first introduced on GLONASS K series, on GLONASS M satellites flown from 2014. Four of these enhanced models were launched between 2014 and 2019. S, N 755 to 758, the remaining three are kept in reserve and will be launched as needed in case of on-orbit failures prior to planned replacement. Topic. History The first-generation Urigan spacecraft were created under ban of foreign radiation-hardened components and thus had been an inferior product with just three years of expected design life. Given the realized average life was just 22 months, and the fleet should have 24 spacecraft, it was necessary to launch more than seven spacecraft per year to keep the fleet in good health. 
To this end, the Uragan M was designed, with an increased design life of seven years, thanks to the availability of ETAR controlled parts. On December 1, 2001, a first generation GLONASS satellite Cosmos 2382 with new flight control and power systems was launched. This satellite was incorrectly named Uragan M in a RIA Novosti news message issued days before the launch. When contacted by Novosti Kosmonavtiki magazine Roscosmos spokesman said all three launched satellites were first-generation versions but one of them featured new upgraded flight control and power systems. Novosti Kosmonavtiki also pointed out the fact that GLONASSM project had been approved on August 20, 2001 just three months before Cosmos 2382 launch. RIA Novosti mistake was widely propagated causing confusion regarding which satellite was the first GLONASSM satellite. On December 10, 2003, the first Uragan M was launched by a Proton K, Briz M from Baikonur along two Uragan Block IIV satellites. On December 26, 2004, the second Uragan M was launched by a Proton K 2 German Marks, also along two Uragan Block IIV satellites. And on December 25, 2005, two Uragan M were launched along the last Uragan Block IIV satellites. On December 25, 2006, launched the first trio of only Uragan M. Two launches by late 2007 meant that six additional Uragan M were added to the fleet. And another six were successfully launched in 2008. On September 12, 2008 Prime Minister Vladimir Putin signed RF Government Resolution on increasing GLONASS program financing by 67 billion rubles. 2009 saw the launch of a single trio of Uragan M, and with nine spacecraft planned for 2010, full service availability was expected. Regrettably, the third launch, on 5 December 2010, ended in failure, leaving no on orbit spares. On October 2, 2011, the first launch of single Uragan M satellite was performed by a Soyuz 2 1B, Forgot M, which put Cosmos 2474 on orbit from the Pulsetsik Cosmodrome. Another Proton M launched trio and an additional Soyuz 2, 1B, Forgot M launch put the fleet at full operative capacity with 24 healthy satellites. On April 26, 2013 a Soyuz successfully orbited Cosmos 2485, but the Proton M mission failed spectacularly taking with it a trio of Uragan M. During 2014, two satellites were launched by Soyuz in March and June. On a May 28, 2014 interview, Nikolai Testoyadov, president of ISS Reshetnev, stated that production of GLONASSM would end in 2015, with GLONASSK being exclusively produced after that final batch. In a December 14, 2014 interview with GPS World, he stated that while the original idea was to have just two GLONASS K1 prototypes to be followed by the GLONASS K2 production, the Western sanctions limited the supply of radiation-resistant electronics. And thus, they had decided to launch an additional nine GLONASS K1 as fleet replacement while they finished the GLONASS K2 design. In a May 2015 presentation, Mr. Testoyadov expected the last GLONASSM to fly in late 2017. On July 30, 2015, ISS Reshetnev announced that it had completed the last GLONASSM-61 spacecraft and it was putting it in storage waiting for launch, along with an additional eight already built satellites. The current production batch S N755+ is an enhanced GLONASSM that includes an additional transmitter and antenna for the L30C CDMA signal. After four successful launches until 2019, the last three spacecraft remain in storage and will be launched as needed in case of on-orbit failures prior to planned replacement. Uragan M launches
Topic: Statistics. Topic: Launch history. Equals equals satellites. <laughs>